evidence aliens might exist out in the universe. Hey everyone, welcome to Wacky Universe. I'm your new host, Jay. So many of the aliens we see in movies and television seem much more magical than their science fiction label might suggest. Jedi have magic powers, alien visitors can read our minds and speak our languages at first contact, and let's not even talk about the impossibility of moving at light speed. Scientists haven't given up hope that there's life out in the stars, and they're right not to. Here are five pieces of evidence that show that aliens might exist out in the universe. Before we put on our tinfoil hats, make sure to hit the bell icon to be notified of all our upcoming videos. And if you end up enjoying this one, hit the like button before you go. Five, Project Blue Book. In 1952, the United States government began a top secret project called Project Blue Book to look into the truth behind supposed spaceship sightings. Identifying and debunking those sightings were of the utmost importance at the time. With tensions high between the US and Russia, it was necessary to know what threats might be lurking in the skies and who, or what, was behind it. Project Blue Book ran until December 17, 1969, five months after the Apollo 11 launch, and has since been declassified. The records are now fully available in the National Archives, and during its 17 years of operation, 12,618 sightings were recorded. Most were debunked, but not all of them. To this day, 701 are still left unidentified, and the search for UFOs by the US government finished inconclusively, at least officially. For now, what we can say for sure is that UFOs, unidentified flying objects, exist. Whether or not they are spacecraft that contain little green men is yet to be seen. Evidence, however, shows that there is a possibility that aliens not only exist, but they've been vacationing on Earth for years. 4. Goldilocks Zones Goldilocks Zones are regions around stars that could be habitable for life. As you might guess, these areas are not too hot or too cold, but just right. Earth, for example, falls in the Sun's Goldilocks Zone, but surprisingly, we're not neatly in the center like we once thought. Scientists recently changed the parameters for defining these areas, meaning the places we've been looking at will have to change too. Places we once thought were habitable are now not, and those that we thought impossible are now completely fair game for greater exploration. Some planets, like Lee's 581D, are now even more likely to be able to harbor alien life. Before this change, 581D had been on the outskirts of its system's Goldilocks zone, but now it's sandwiched right in the middle. With this new definition of habitability, it's incredible to think that maybe aliens were always there. We were just looking in the wrong places. Three, where there's water, there's life. Liquid water, our beautiful H2O, is something all humans and every other creature on Earth needs to survive. It's also one of the main features scientists look for when searching for extraterrestrial life. As it turns out, water's not uncommon in the universe. It's not even uncommon in our solar system, far beyond where scientists widely consider habitable for life. Water flows beneath Mars's surface. Liquid water may exist in Venus's scorching atmosphere. Some of our gas giant's moons have water hidden underground. Jupiter's moons Europa, Callisto, and Ganymede all contain vast oceans beneath their rocky, icy surfaces. Scientists hold hope that one of these oceans may contain life within them, and the European Space Agency is taking steps to discover the truth. In June 2022, the Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer mission, or JUICE for short, will launch a probe to explore in depth not only Jupiter's atmosphere and rings, but Europa, Callisto, and Ganymede as well. The ESA states its main objective to be understanding the conditions for why these three moons can be habitable for life so far out of the Goldilocks zone. If we're lucky, they may soon find that something dwells beneath those icy surfaces. Two, living life to the extreme. Alien life doesn't just mean big bulbous heads or living long and prospering or any other sentience we're used to considering alive. Just because plants don't think doesn't mean they aren't alive after all. Similarly, there are microbes, small and unthinking and nevertheless alive in some of the most extreme environments around the world. Whether in freezing ocean depths or boiling thermal vents, life finds a way and it finds a way to thrive. With the definition of life as broad as it is, our classification of what we'd call aliens is just as broad. Scientists have stated that as long as there's liquid water, there can be life. And as we know, we have six possible places to explore 
just in our solar system where life may be possible. There are even microbes here on Earth that could survive beneath Mars's surface. With this in mind, the question becomes not, can life exist on another planet, but does it already? We still have one more piece of evidence to uncover, but first, I'd like to know, do you believe alien life is out there? Because I do. Share your thoughts with me in the comments below. One, fast radio bursts. Starting in 2007, scientists began picking up millisecond bursts of radio frequency from far out in space, the exact location unknown, but certainly millions of times farther than the Milky Way. These bursts are intense, and during their brief moments of existence, they're stronger than radio pulsars in our own galaxy. While there are nearly 50 different theories on what exactly causes these radio bursts, a prominent one is that aliens are trying to communicate with us from millions of light years away. If so, they definitely have our attention. Messages being sent by other beings in the universe isn't a crazy idea. Humans have been sending probes into space for years with this exact intention. Two in particular, Voyagers 1 and 2, were launched in 1977 with recordings of greetings and songs. With these records, any beings that came across them could learn about us and our little planet. Just as we sent out our golden record, it's equally as possible that these radio bursts are some distant civilization attempting to do the same with us. 